Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 13th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Libra. Uh, these are going to be a little quicker. I have a little bit of a time crunch this month, but you have this dog spirit. It says, be loyal to what you love. You also have this eagle spirit. It says, spirit has your back. So I feel like you are, you know, I, I don't know how to say what I want to say right now, Libra. <laughs> it's almost like, you know, it's like I want to say that you're sticking up for yourself, but it's not really like that. I feel that you are kind of, you know, if you're, let's say you have like an obligation in your life right now and you don't really, um, you know, want that obligation, I feel that some of you are bringing it to an end, 10 of swords right here. So it's like, you know, I kind of get this energy. I feel like that be loyal to what the, you love card is saying that if you are doing something that you really don't want to be doing in your life could be, and it feels like an obligation to me, like something that maybe you've committed to or, you know, something like that. I kind of see you walking away from it, whatever that obligation or commitment is. Um, and I think it'll free you up. It's like, sometimes I think we make a big deal about, you know, kind of walking away from, uh, you know, like projects or, you know, working together with other people or whatever the case may be. Um, and then, uh, like when we walk away, we feel so much more free. So I, I get that feeling kind of kicking it off here, but you also have the Ace of Wands. You end with the Ace of Swords and you have this new life card at the end. So the Ace of Wands is out with the old, in with the new. There's this castle right here and that cr castle is meant to look like it's crumbling. So for a lot of you, there's clearly like a new beginning, a passionate new beginning, uh, entering into your life this month or, uh, you know, I kind of feel like it's the rest of the month. So yeah, that's a, it's a weekly reading, but I feel this is something that you're going to be working on for probably the rest of the month, maybe even into the month of June, you know? So, uh, you know, tarot is timeless. But what I would say here is I feel like you're being led to a much more passionate new beginning, something that feels better. You even have this moon card here, sorry, uh, right here. And that moon card says you will be guided through dark, uh, through darkness. And I don't think this is like darkness as in like, oh, it's something scary. I think this is darkness as in just not being sure where your life is headed or maybe you're um, not sure what the future holds, right? But it's like you're being guided. Your crossing energy is the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles kind of says teamwork makes a dream work. So I love the Three of Pentacles. The crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you in a Celtic cross. So it can be both. And that's kind of what I feel for you is that this is talking about both energies. I, I think that uh, if you're not working together with other people, uh, you could, right? And that especially if you're like trying to grow something with the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is all about you know, growth. But the thing with the Ace of Wands is that, you know, I like to look at it like a fire, but it, it's just that initial spark and you have to build the fire after that period of time, right? So it, it's something that needs more fuel. It's something that needs more energy. So if you're starting something, uh, I would say again, this month, next month, uh, maybe even over the summer, that if you get that spark, that, you know, getting other people, even if it's just like an accountability partner or someone to help you, uh, you know, could really kind of add some fuel to the fire, so to speak, and could really make something, you know, successful faster. Or again, I think, um, you know, if I look at the astrology, I think that the astrology really says that um, just new perspectives are what's going to help us the most moving forward. So just getting a person who just sees things differently, like in work or business or, you know, even your love life or whatever you're trying to do here, whatever you're trying to accomplish, uh, getting that new perspective uh, could be the thing that makes the difference, right? Uh, in the area of what's on your mind, you have the four cups. Four cups is kind of like trying to manifest something. I always say that it's like he's trying to manifest a cake and he's manifested the flour, the sugar, the eggs in front of him, but he just needs to mix it all together and pop it in the oven. So I feel that you kind of have all the ingredients necessary to be successful. And I think one of the other air signs had a very similar message as well. So this, you know, this could be a collective like air sign energy, but you know, I would say that mixing everything that you do together and like popping it in the oven is going to be the thing that really um, makes you more successful. So, but it looks to me like you're kind of thinking about, um, you know, putting all your skills together, your your ingredients and making something happen. Uh, in the area of your foundation, you have the four wands. Four wands can be marriage. And if you want love, you have that dog spirit. So there could be a very loyal person coming in for you. But I kind of feel this is just saying that you are committed to something. You are committed to a transformation maybe uh, because we go up to the death card here to the nine of cups. It's like you're committed to, you know, finding fulfillment in your life, which is great, right? You know, nine of cups is amazing. We Nine of cups says that we are in alignment with everything we want and desire. You know, it's a card of wishes, but really, uh, like I always say, I think that the nine of cups is really a card of alignment, just matching the energy of what you want. So I feel for a lot of you that you are just kind of committed to something or you're committing to like whatever you're trying to accomplish here. In your past position, you have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords can be like being stabbed in the back. 
It can also say that you, something is dead, done, over with. And the Ace of Wands kind of says the same thing. Uh, right next to the Ace of Wands, you have the Death card. So kind of like putting this all together looks to me like you are releasing something from your life. I kind of do feel you have this card here, this Earth card. It says, utilize logic, reason, and common sense. I feel sometimes like we something makes logical sense, but maybe it doesn't make sense for us, right? And so maybe there's something that, you know, there are those things in life that, you know, everybody tells you to do, right? Where they say like, oh, you have to go get a career. You have to have a 401k and like all these other things. But it's like, maybe that's not true for you. And that's kind of like the energy you get here. It's like you're releasing something that works, you know, maybe it works for other people. Maybe it doesn't, you know, I'm, I'm not making a value judgment here, but, you know, I feel like you're saying, you know what, my life is different and uh, I want to live my life in a different way. It's like, maybe you don't want a 401k. Maybe you don't want uh, to have a career, right? Or uh, those are just some examples. I think this could be anything, but it's probably something that, you know, uh, is considered logical sense, but um, at the same time, you know, maybe it doesn't work for you, whatever it is that you're releasing. In the area of your very near future, you have the death card. So a big transformation, a big change coming in here. Even the um, death card kind of says the sun is coming out. You know, the, there are the two pillars from the moon card right here. And the sun is coming up between those two pillars. I frequently say that the death card does represent like the sun coming up in your life or clarity being revealed on something in your life. So if you've been in a moon period and basically a moon period is just a period where you're kind of working in a direction there's a path straight down the moon and so you're walking in a direction you're trying to accomplish things in life or you're trying to get something you want and but with the moon it's like you aren't sure like what's real what's fake you're not sure if you're going in the right direction you're not sure if you can trust your emotions you know all that other stuff and it kind of looks like to me that you're stepping into a sun period which would be a period of like great clarity where you do know that you're making the right moves that you do know that you're going in the right direction. There's something powerful about this reading for you, Libra. I think that you're starting to like believe in yourself, you know, and you're saying, you know, I, I maybe I don't need um, everybody else's advice. I would still get new perspectives, right? With the three of pentacles. I think that we can listen to advice. We don't have to take it. <laughs> we can listen to it though. And we can see things from different points of view. But I would say that this is more like analysis and which I think is good for Libras. You know, Libras are great at analyzing things, right? And I would say that, you know, if you are working together with other people, it's almost like you're in a more confident position here, uh, Emperor, where it's like you're willing to take into account what other people say. Or, you know, if you're working on a project, for example, in business or work, and you know, you're, you're taking other people's points of view to heart, like you're listening to it, but I also feel like you're not letting it um, kind of, you know, d d like distract from the mission, you know? <laughs> Let's put it that way. I really feel you're becoming a leader here, Libra. And again, you have this moon card that says you will be guided through darkness. I, I really do feel you're kind of stepping into a sun period. And by sun, I just mean that you are becoming more clear on the things that you should be doing in life and you're more uh, kind of like listening to yourself. And again, we see a lot of, kind of like leadership stuff coming up here. Uh, over the next few months, you have the Five of Swords, a, pr a pretty common energy during these weekly readings, which is pretty weird. I'm not sure exactly, you know, what this could be necessarily. Uh, we do have Jupiter changing signs, which, you know, that could do something. Uh, that will be at the end of the month, the 25th. But the Five of Swords, like walking away from things that no longer serve you, you know, it, it is a card of winning at all cost. but this guy here is the winner. So you might be walking away from things um, that no longer serve you, but it's like you are walking away victorious and you end with the Ace of Swords, which is the card of victory. So it kind of looks like to me that the outcome is saying that you could be sticking up for yourself in certain situations. And again, this seems to be a like a kind of like a collective energy right now. Uh, you have the Emperor in your closest relationships. Again, this really is kind of what's been giving me this message that you are taking the lead in your life or you're being seen as more of a leader. And so I feel, you know, that's it. <laughs> I, re I really have nothing else to say there, Libra. I think you're just becoming more of a leader. I also feel if you want love, as always, you know, could be an Aries. I, I think that you've had an Aries in your energy for a while, whether you want them or not, doesn't matter, right? Uh, just because you don't want something doesn't mean that it's not gonna, you know, try to approach you or something. But I do feel there could be a person. Uh, next, in the area of your future feelings, amazing, Nine of Cups, you really couldn't ask for a better card. Maybe the Ten of Cups, maybe the Ten of Pentacles, right? Or the Empress or something, but, you know, really a really good card for your future feelings. Um, the Nine of Cups is kind of like a card of being in alignment, which su suggests that your feelings are in alignment with what you want and desire in your life. So definitely a very positive uh, direction for the reading. I do like to, I really like to see this for you. So, you know, fulfillment, happiness, make a wish. 
Uh, next, as your outcome here, you have the Ace of Swords, which would be a victory. The Ace of Swords also cuts both ways. So, you know, sometimes we have to make a sacrifice with the Ace of Swords so that we can have something better. And it looks to me like that's what you could be doing here is that you could be sacrificing something uh, that just isn't working in your life for a better outcome or for better opportunity. This is also a card of balance, just like you, Libra, are the sign of balance. You know, there are these six golden yods here on both sides of the card. And they represent the fact that the sword is in perfect balance. So I feel like you are coming up in a very balanced energy here. You have this new life card. I love this card. Uh, she's being lifted up on a pedestal here. And so I feel that you are kind of like being lifted up on a pedestal. I feel you are getting attention and, you know, doing the right things that you need to be doing. It's like you're glowing here as well. So I really uh, like to see that for you. It looks really, really good. Uh, we're going to clarify through. And, uh, you know, really for the most part, I think you're taking the lead in life. With the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, yeah, if you do want love, definitely could be a fire sign. Or I would say, you know, this is a person who has fiery placements. You know, they could, they could, they could also just, sometimes I always say, you know, it's just tarot, right? <laughs> so it, this could just be describing the energy of the person. It could just be a fiery person. They could be, you know, an earth sign. They could be a water sign. They could be an air sign. It doesn't matter. Um, but I do feel it's kind of like a bold, assertive person uh, that you could be attracting. I also feel that you need to, again, trust, I, I really feel kind of this, what this reading is trying to get to is that you need to trust your own ideas. I think you're a little bit more visionary at this time. So it's like, don't, don't, doubt yourself um, with this reading. I think that you have, you know, if you feel that something like a project you're working on or something, you know, if you work on a group in your career or something, if you feel that your answer is right, it probably is. With the four cups, you have the 10 of swords here. This could represent the past disappointments you've been through. Uh, this could be in love. It could be in any other area of your life. Doesn't really matter. Uh, this could say that you are thinking about it. Like if you want love, for example, you could be thinking about the past failures that you've been through, or you could be thinking about the people that have stabbed you in the back. And the four cups is saying, what you really need to look at is the lessons you've learned. So you just don't repeat them and then you will be fine. With the four of wands, you have the three of pentacles. Yeah, again, if you're attracting love, I feel it's a person who really wants to work on a team here. Uh, I love, you know, personally, I love the three of pentacles for love readings because Again, it's, a, it's like two people who are really working towards a common goal or they're working towards something, um, you know, they're working on creating something of quality. The Three of Pentacles specifically represents quality work. And so I feel that you could be attracting a person who is very focused on, you know, creating quality or, or um, you know, kind of like manifesting quality uh, uh, connections in their life. Sorry, I'm, 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 I had to pause the video because I'm showing my house, by the way, because I'm moving. <laughs> and that's why these readings are shorter. But um, anyway, we were talking about quality with this Three of Pentacles and kind of getting into quality connections. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, you have the Four of Wands. How funny is that? You have the Ten of Swords twice this way, Four of Wands twice this way. Some of you could be dealing with a separation or divorce. You know, Ace of Swords would be like some sort of legal victory or some sort of win. But I also just kind of feel that, again, your maybe your opinions or your feelings about love have changed. Uh, I think what I was really saying with that Four of Cups is that, you know, you've learned a lot of lessons. And again, I think that sometimes we overcorrect and we say like, oh, I'm never going to have love again because this person cheated on me. But really what we should be saying is like, now I know what to look out for cause, and I'm just going to pay attention to what I didn't pay attention to in the first place and I'm going to avoid it in the future. So, you know, this is more about correction, I feel intuitively than I feel like I don't really feel it's about you know, kind of like doing anything, right? You, you don't have to do anything to just pay attention to what's going on. Uh, with the death card, you have the page of cups here. Uh, yeah, definitely could be an admirer. I do feel there could be, there's clearly either you're interested in a person or they're interested in you or you're both interested in each other. I kind of get the feeling that this is a person that you know already. So, you know, this, I, I, you know, I just feel like you know this person or you work with this person or you're friends with this person. Uh, that, you know, of course, take it how it resonates as a general reading, but I, I kind of do get that feeling here. I'm also wondering if some of you have been like waiting for a person to heal going this way here. It's like, you know, I kind of get this feeling that maybe some of you like have a, like a like a person, but maybe you know that they just got out of a relationship or something that is popping into my head here. With the five of swords, you have the three of wands. Yeah, I think it's, I think you are uh, focusing in the right direction. Uh, you know, right now, I think collectively, I think some people are too focused on the past and I think other people are focusing forward. And Three of Wands is definitely a card of focusing forward. Same thing with the King of Wands. The King of Wands is kind of like the visionary energy and the uh, Three of Wands, also a card of foresight or being a visionary. So I think that you focusing forward, Ace of Swords, this new life card, Ace of Wands, new beginnings, you know, everything here is screaming that you are kind of like focusing forward, which is what you should be doing. With the Emperor, you have the Seven of Pentacles. 
Yeah, a, a lot of people seem to be doing this as well, like weighing up their relationships, all relationships, not just love. And I feel you could be kind of looking at all your connections here and saying like, you know, who's who's bringing things to the table and who's not, right? Seven of Pentacles says, is the juice worth a squeeze? Is it worth it for you to work on something or is there something better that you could be doing with your life? And I really feel that you are kind of, um, you know, examining things in your life. I really feel you are kind of examining the things that you work on and that's what you're doing here. With the Nine of Cups, you have the Knight of Cups. Uh, yeah, love it. <laughs> this is amazing for love. Like I said, there. if you want love, there's clearly like a Knight in Shining Armor coming in for you. Uh, I also always look at the Knight of Cups as your dream life. You know, the Knight of Cups is like the real imaginary dreamer. He is dreaming of what his future could be or like what he could manifest in his life. And I do feel you are kind of in a dreamy space. And I, I like I would encourage you to bring to start taking steps towards those dreams. With the Ace of Swords, you have the Temperance card. You are focusing on things that you can balance out. A lot of balance in this reading, right? Which is great for you, Libra. But I feel like you are kind of just, um, you know, balancing things out and focusing on balanced situations. The Temperance card would also suggest that you're kind of like more focused on um, working on things that you actually can um, change. <laughs> you know, Temperance is cause, like, also kind of like cause and effect. It is T turning one thing into another al alchemy right and so i feel that this is saying you're more focused on things i'm um, working on things that work as in if you put work in and maybe there needs to be a negotiation or things need to change that's what you're focusing on you have this fox card it says shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business yes i think the whole entire reading kind of says that you are very focused on work you have this dark woman it says dealing with relationships with a dark woman you have this dog close up it says pleasure with a close friend you also have the dark man and it also says July on it. So you could be meeting a person in the month of July or you could be meeting a person who was born in July. And this could definitely be a, a new love connection that's coming in for you. Uh, if this is like a newer person, again, this might be one of those things where it really starts kind of building steam by the time we get to, to July. So maybe you're like dating this person right now or you will be soon. And then as we get to the summer, it kind of picks up. You have this cup card. It says you should accept valid criticism. Again, like I said, I think you're taking information in. I said this earlier. You know, I, I like I think you're listening to people, but you're not necessarily taking it on. And again, I think that's a good thing. You also have this well. It says family wishes come true. A lot of people working on family stuff, so that doesn't surprise me either. But pretty straightforward. I think you're taking the lead in your life. Plain and simple. Uh, it looks really good. Definitely a new life. You know, kind of being lifted up. That's a card of being lifted up on a pedestal. So I like it. Uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.